Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics License and today's problem is in a randomly breeding population an autosomal recessive condition effect one newborn in 10,000 the expected frequency of the curve will be nearly and you have to choose the correct answer. So how we are going to solve this problem? Today we are going to reinvent Hardy-Weinberg formula. So take a look. For example we have two alleles uh, in our population one is dominant allele and another recessive. So let's say that dominant allele would be P and recessive allele would be Q. In order to find all the possible combinations of these two alleles, let's just build simple Punnett square. So P and Q on the other side and here is our Punnett square. And our combinations would be as follows. So P, P here, P, Q here, P, Q here, and Q, Q here. So we got three genotypes here. So here's the one genotype, here's another genotype, heterozygous, and here is homozygous recessive genotype. So three genotypes. And that means that in a population frequency of the genotypes would equal to, take a look, P multiplied by P is the same as P squared. So P squared plus PQ or heterozygous genotype happens here twice. So hence 2PQ and heterozygous genotype which is QQ or we can say Q squared. So we got three genotypes and here is the frequency of these three genotypes if we have two alleles in a population. And all this would equal to 1 or 100%. So this three genotype represent the frequencies and if we combine them, they would represent 100% of all genotypes and frequencies in a population. Now let's return to our problem. So this is Hardy-Weinberg formula. And we told that recessive, autosomal recessive condition effect, one newborn in 10,000. And that means that this two genotypes in simple Mendelian genetics, meaning a normal phenotype. And affected would be this genotype, and it also means phenotype. And the frequency is 1 out of 10,000. As you remember, we have only two alleles in our population, allele P and allele Q, and these two alleles would make 100% uh, or would equal to 1. So if we know Q squared, we can find frequency of the allele Q or recessive allele. We just have to take a square root of uh, Q squared. So Q uh, frequency of the recessive allele would equal a square root of 1 over 10,000. So frequency of the recessive allele would equal to 1 hundredths. And that means that frequency of the P allele would be 99 out of 100. And now uh, we can find uh, frequency of the carrier or heterozygotes, which is here, which is in our formula also here. So we know frequency of P and Q, frequency of the heterozygous genotype, which is 2PQ, would be 2 multiplied by frequency of the P, which is 99 over 100, and multiplied by frequency of the Q, which is one hundredths. 
and take a look. 99 over 100 is basically equals 1. Do you agree with me that this number is very close to 1? So that means that uh, 1 multiplied by 2 is going to be 2 multiplied by 1 hundreds is going to be 2 over 100 or is going to be 1 over 50. And this is answer B. If you need an answer in percentage form, we just have to multiply this answer by 100. And this is how we are going to get our answer in percentage form. And this is going to be 2%. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.